at 4 o'clock, forensic technology helps authorities in Box County crack a cold case. A body found on the banks of the Delaware River more than 20 years ago has now been identified as that is Edward Anthony Nice. It is Tuesday afternoon. I'm Brian Tapp. And I'm Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News is that breakthrough in a mystery dating back to 2003. A pair of fishermen made the grim discovery in Ben Salem. Despite their best efforts, police were never able to identify the body until recently. Action News' Walter Perez live in Ben Salem now with how a group of specialized investigators stepped in to help finally get some answers in this case. Walter. That's right, Brian and Sarah. The nonprofit is run by a former Ben Salem police detective who had this case at the top of his mind when he put together the organization called Cold Case Initiatives. It was the fall of 2003 when some fishermen spotted human remains in the Delaware River near State Road in Ben Salem. Police quickly arrived to retrieve the badly decomposed body along with some clothing, including this T-shirt. But Ben Salem police received no reports of a missing person. And with the limited technology available at that time, the case went cold and remained cold for two decades. But this past year, it started with Cold Case Initiative. Uh, that company is run by one of our former detectives. That former detective is Chris McMullen, who investigated this case when it first unfolded and made it one of his first projects after starting CCI. Cold Case Initiative was then able to do genealogical studies and have testing done through another third party DNA testing company who then was able to produce a profile. It took a little over a year um, to get the lab results back and then um, to finally do the genealogy, but you know, we finally solved it. That DNA evidence revealed conclusively that the remains were those of a 33-year-old man named Edward Neese of Riverside, New Jersey. Neese's family reportedly indicated that Edward was contending with some personal circumstances at that time, and they never filed a police report with the expectation that Edward someday would come home. It's important to note that the coroner found no signs of trauma, and the cause of death was ruled a drowning. Police Director McVeigh and Detective McMullen both say, at the very least, they were able to give the family a little peace of mind. This is the type of case that we don't forget, and it is someone's son and brother. We'll take a case from anywhere, um, but obviously, you know, this one was near and dear to me. This, by the way, was the first cold case CCI solved as they work on other cases at this time. To learn more about cold case initiatives right here in Ben Salem, a link to their website can be found on 6abc.com. Reporting live from Ben Salem Police, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Okay, Walter, thank you.